Hello, welcome to the third video of some integrals preliminary calculus information. This one will be discussing order and inequalities. So last time we were discussing the real number line, which is just a line on which we've identified real numbers. However, we want to describe them in a particular order so that it makes sense that the bigger numbers are to the right and the smaller numbers are to the left or the bigger numbers are up the smaller numbers are down anything like that is what we're going to be defining when we call an order so first thing that we should note is a definition I'm going to use DEF to define stuff and what I'm going to say is the real number is positive if it's to the right of zero. So all of these numbers are going to be positive. Uh, the R isn't, the R is just a label, it's not actually part of the numbers. And I'm going to similarly define a real number is negative So it's negative if it's to the left of zero. So all of these numbers are going to be negative. And we don't really give zero positive or negative designation. We just say zero is itself. It doesn't have positive. It's not positive or it's not negative. And what we're going to use is the notion of positive and negative to define bigger and smaller, or greater than or less than. So I'm going to now define, uh, this, this is a big string of definitions, but I think it should make sense once I, I illustrate it a little bit. So for two real numbers, A and B, if a minus b is positive, then we say a is greater than b. a is greater than b. And what, what does that mean? If a minus b is positive, uh, well, think about an example. So 5 minus 3 is 2. 2 is positive. 2 is to the right of 0. So that tells us that uh, 5 is greater than 3. And I'll do, I'll do a couple of examples in a second. I'm just going to finish the definition. So for real numbers A and B, oops, for real numbers, numbers, a and B, if A minus B is negative, then we say A is less than B. Okay? So these are four important definitions for this, um, for this section. If uh, knowing what a positive number is, knowing what a negative number is, and now we've given a way to relate numbers. We say A is bigger than or greater than B. If A minus B is positive, we say A is less than B. If A minus B is negative. So let's, let's try and anchor that in some visual intuition. So, example, 3 minus 0 is equal to 3. It's positive. So 3 is bigger than 0. 0 minus 3 is equal to negative 3, which is negative. So 0 is less than 3. And these inequalities normally come in pairs. So 3 is greater than 0 is the same information as 0 is less than 3. Right, so let's take another example. Uh, 
pi minus 3. That's going to be equal to 0 0.14159, so on, which is positive. Right? It's 0 0.14159, which is just a little bit between, uh, it's between 0 and 1, but it's just a little bit bigger than 0. So, uh, pi is greater than 3. Similarly, we get the same information with 3 minus pi. 3 minus pi is uh, negative 0.0, 1, 4, 1, 5, 9, and so on. So that's negative. And therefore, 3 is less than pi. Okay? So this should give you a good intuition as to how numbers relate when they're less than or equal to. But visually, what we, what we see is if a is greater than b, then a is to the right of b. That's the, the biggest visual insight that you'll find, or a is a larger value than b, so like that. So if a is bigger than b, a should be to the right of b. And that's using this horizontal notion of the real number line. Okay, So there are some interesting properties that come out of this. Let's do some properties. Properties of inequalities. So this is going to be for any real number, or for any real numbers, a, B, C, and D. So for the first property, what we see is that we can add these inequalities. So A minus, uh, if A is less than B, and if, sorry, C is less than D, then what we're allowed to do is add the inequalities. A plus C is less than B plus D. Um, and I'll just do a quick example uh, 1 is less than 2, 3 is less than 4. I can add those two inequalities and I'll get 1 plus 3 is 4, 2 plus 4 is 6. 4 is less than 6, so it still checks out. Alright, so our second property is um, we can add a constant value. So if A is less than B, I can add C to both sides, and C doesn't have to be any number. It can be positive or negative, it can be zero. All right, so A plus C is less than B plus C. So let's take an example of that. Uh, let's say one is less than two, and I'm going to, let's do a subtraction. So I'll subtract three from both sides. And what I get is one minus three is negative two. Two minus three is negative one. And as it happens, uh, negative 1 is to the right of negative 2. So this checks out. Uh, over here, what we saw was 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 is bigger than 4, and that, that all works. So, all right, so third property is transitivity. So if we have a is less than B, and B is less than C. So let's say if A is less than B and B is less than C, then A is less than C. And all that means is visually, if we have A to the left of B and B to the left of C, then A has to, has to be to the left of C. That's just how our geometry works. All right, so that's the third property. Let's do one more, maybe two more. Okay, so if A is less than B and C is positive, then A times C is less than B times C. So with, when C is positive, that tells us that 
you can multiply both sides and the inequality is preserved. So 1 is less than 2, I can multiply both sides by a positive number, say 3, and what I get is 1 times 3 is 3, is less than 2 times 3, which is 6. However, if I have a, um, if I have a negative c, so if a is, uh, let's say a is less than b, and c is negative, then we have to reverse it. So a times c is bigger than b times c. Right, so let's just do a simple case. The simple case is 1 is less than 2. I multiply both sides by negative 1. What I get is negative 1 is greater than negative 2, which I already saw over here. Negative 2 is less than negative 1 is the same thing as negative 1 is greater than negative 2. And what we've really just done is reflected 1 and 2 over to the negative side of the real line. <clears throat> so since 1 is to the left of 2, that should tell us that negative 1 is to the right of negative 2. Okay. And the only thing that I want to say before I end this video is uh, one last bit about notation. So while you're dealing with this, be aware that there is some bad notation. So bad, this is a bad idea. Do not do, not do what I'm about to write. Never, never ever write this on a quiz or an exam or anything. So don't write 2 is less than 3 is greater than 1. Or, or don't write 5 is greater than 4 is less than 6. Okay? You do not want to write these. Never ever mix the inequalities. Don't, um, don't, don't have them going in opposite directions. Okay? A good thing to write would be 1 is less than 2 is less than 3. It's organized. They're all going in the same direction. Here what we have, 4 is less than 5 is less than 6. Or you could do it the other way if you wanted. You could have 3 is greater than 2 is greater than 1. You could have 6 is greater than 5 is greater than 4. Either of any one of those 4 is acceptable. However, these two are not. These, these are not good. Okay? Um, oh, I guess I, I should also just briefly talk about um, one last def set of definitions. This is, you should be used to these. These are uh, less than or equal to. So if A is greater than B, or if A equals B, then A is greater than or equal to B. And similarly, if A is less than B, or if A equals B, then A is less than or equal to B. Thunder. So these are just um, two other symbols. They work very similarly to the greater than or equal to, uh, I'm sorry, they work very similarly to less than and greater than, but they just have this one extra condition that it's possible that they're equal. So all we're saying is it, uh, A could be, so if if A is greater than or equal to B, B could be exactly here at A or anywhere to the left. Right, since A is bigger than it or A is equal to it. Um, and I should label this. Okay, so this should be all you really need to know when you're working with inequalities. There, there will be some other stuff that will come up, but I should review it as it's needed. So thank you for watching, and I hope this helps. I uh, hope to see you again.